Not long ago, I shared a video about DeepSeek OCR and Paddle OCR, and many of you really enjoyed it. Recently, one of my followers ran into an issue while building an OCR chatbot and asked for help. That's when I realized this problem isn't just one person's issue. So I made this video to help more developers facing the same challenge. Good news. Gemini 3.0, Flash and Mistral OCR3 have released their latest AI models. Both perform better than older versions, but they excel in different areas. Mistral OCR3 is designed to extract text and embedded images from various document types with exceptional accuracy, with a 74% improvement in overall performance. It supports markdown output and can reconstruct tables using HTML, helping downstream systems better understand document content and structure. Compared to many similar products on the market, Mistral OCR 3 is compact and affordable, costing only $2 per 1,000 pages. A 50% discount is available through its API, bringing the final price down to just $1 per 1,000 pages. When I saw Gemini 3.0 Flash, my first thought was, okay, Flash probably means it's a lightweight version, so its performance might be just average compared to the other models. But as I started looking closer, I realized this flash is a lot different from what the name suggests. It's not just fast, it's highly prioritized processing speed and efficiency while maintaining inference capabilities and multimodal understanding. It aims to improve response times in everyday work while handling complex tasks. Previously, AI models were a trade-off between smart but slow and expensive, and fast and cheap but so-so. Gemini 3.0 Flash overturns this conventional wisdom, providing pro-level or better intelligence at the speed and cost of Flash. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I went to the Streamlit app and input API keys for the Mistral and Google APIs via the sidebar. If valid, the Mistral client is initialized and the Google API is checked. Once the API is connected, I will upload a PDF including a table, invoice, text, and charts. Also, in this video, I will demo the image and I will click on the process PDF button once I upload the PDF, which will display in the sidebar. It creates a temporary directory to manage files. If anything goes wrong during the upload, it catches and raises an exception value error with a clear message. In case you upload an image, it will convert the image into markdown and loop each key value pair in images dict. After replacing all image placeholders, it returns the modified markdown string with the embedded base 64 images. Then it will process multiple pages of OCR extracted markdown and their respective images. It creates an empty list markdowns to store processed markdown content from each page. It iterates by page dot images extracting each image's ID as the key and its base 64 encoded string as the value. It then appends the updated markdown to the markdowns list and it combines all processed markdown sections, ensuring a clean separation between pages. Then it inspects the document source type to determine how to process the document. This code will be on my Patreon because it takes me a lot of time to build. And if you could support me, I would appreciate that. Mistral OCR3 is designed to handle the most complex and challenging document types that enterprises encounter most often. Forms with complex layouts, scanned or damaged documents, hierarchical tables, and handwritten notes over printed text. Price is also a key factor. OCR3 costs only $2 per 1,000 pages with a 50% discount for bulk processing, far lower than many established enterprise-level document processing tools. Its strategy is clear and straightforward to make large-scale digitization not only technically feasible, but also economically viable. This is not about treating OCR as an advanced add-on feature. It's about making it core infrastructure. Traditional OCR engines can only do one thing well, convert pixels into characters. They cannot understand structure, hierarchy, tables, forms, context. Mistral OCR 3 completely changes all of that. It doesn't just output raw text. It generates clear structured text that AI systems can use, preserving layouts, tables, chapters, and their relationships. It's more accurate to call it a document brain than a text extractor. Gemini 3 Flash enables adjusting the amount of thinking and optimizes internal reasoning processing according to the situation. It is designed to respond immediately to simple processing, 
and reserve the necessary time and calculation amount for complex instructions. This allows processing to be performed with an average of 30% fewer tokens than Gemini 2.5 Pro, leading to cost savings. Like other Gemini 3 models, Flash has native multimodal capabilities, handling text, images, audio, and video. This means you can upload photos, ask questions, and then proceed with subsequent tasks without switching tools or models. Google positions Gemini 3 Flash as an everyday assistant, understanding context across multiple formats, not just text on the screen. Let us now explore step-by-step step and unravel the answer to creating a powerful reasoning app. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. Once installed, we import the important dependencies like Mistrali, Google, and Streamlit. I designed this function to securely upload a PDF to Mistral's OCR API and get a signed URL for further processing. I first check if the client object is provided. If it's none, I raised an error since the function requires a properly initialized Mistral API client. I create a temporary directory, define a file path, and write the PDF content. I then open the file in RB mode and upload it to the Mistral API using the client, specifying the file name, content, and purpose as OCR. After a successful upload, I retrieve a signed URL with client enables access to the file. If an error occurs, I catch the exception and raise a value error with a clear message. Finally, I ensure cleanup by deleting the temporary file if it exists. Then I created the replace images in markdown function, which takes a markdown string and a dictionary mapping image names to base 64 encoded images. I iterate through the dictionary, where each key represents an image placeholder and each value contains the corresponding base 64 string. I use dot replace to find occurrences in the markdown and replace them with. This ensures that placeholders are converted into embedded base 64 images. Finally, I returned the updated markdown string with the images replaced. Let's define the get combined markdown function to process multiple pages of OCR extracted markdown and their images. I create an empty list markdowns to store the processed markdown from each page. I iterate through OCR response.pages, collecting image data by mapping image IDs to their base 64 encoded representations. I replace image placeholders in each page's markdown replace underscore images underscore in underscore markdown and append the modified content to markdowns. Finally, I joined all processed markdown sections, ensuring a clear separation between pages. Then I create the process underscore OCR function to check if the client is provided. If not, I raise an error because an initialized Mistral client is required. I inspect document source to determine whether to process a document URL or an image URL. If it's a document URL, I call client.ocr.process with a document URL chunk. And if it's an image URL, I use an image URL chunk. I specify Mistral OCR 2512, the model, and enable it include image base 64 equal true to include base 64 encoded images. If the source type is unrecognized, I raise a value error with a clear message. Let's initialize the Google Gemini API by configuring it with an API key. I check if the context is empty or too short, less than 10 characters, and I return an error if it is true. I create a prompt that includes the document's context and the query to guide the model's response. I configured the model with parameters like temperature, top P, and safety settings. I generate the response using model.generate content. If an error occurs, I catch it, print the error details, and return an error message. Then, we created the Streamlit app to enable users to upload documents or images for OCR processing. Users can provide API keys for the Mistral and Google APIs via the sidebar. If valid, the Mistral client is initialized and the Google API is checked and can upload documents via PDF, image, or URL. The app processes the content using OCR, extracting text from each page and storing it for future use. Once a document is loaded, users can ask questions about the content and the app generates responses using the Google Gemini API. All chat messages are stored in the session state. Streamlit also handles errors such as missing API keys or processing failures and provides warnings when features are incomplete. Mistral OCR3 and Google Gemini 3. Flash are not fancy.
it won't appear on the trending list for demo videos, but it is quietly doing something even more important. It can transform documents into intelligence. It can make unstructured data usable. It is inexpensive and can be implemented at scale. In the age of artificial intelligence, this is not a function. This is infrastructure. The real revolution begins with infrastructure.